For many years, a colliery has operated at the Point of Air near Talacra on the North Wales coast. Between 1865 and 1873, trial borings took place. Firstly, a bore was made under the direction of Lord Mostyn, owner of the Mostyn Colliery a few miles away. Then investigations on the site were made by the Prestatin Coal Company and the Western Moston Colliery Company. However, both these companies abandoned their projects. In 1883, the Point of Air Colliery Company was formed and seven years later, in 1890, they struck a seam of coal. Pit ponies pulling two wagons were used to bring the coal to the surface. Every new apprentice soon learnt that the ponies only responded if they were taught to in the Welsh language. Around the same time, a second shaft was sunk and these shafts become known as number one and number two respectively. At this time the pit employed 356 men and produced coal for domestic and industrial uses. Following nationalisation in 1947, the National Coal Board took over operations at the site and a third shaft was sunk. 738 men were producing 213,000 tonnes of coal a year by 1953. On the 23rd of August 1996, the Point of Air Colliery was closed. It was one of the last remaining operational deep mines in Wales. Adjacent to the site of the colliery is ANI's natural gas terminal. Gas is piped to this facility via a 20 inch pipe from the Douglas complex which is 15 miles off the North Wales coast in the Irish Sea. The Douglas complex is a 54 metre high system of three linked platforms, also owned by ENI. The complex consists of a wellhead platform which drills the seabed, a processing platform which separates oil, gas and water, and the third platform is an accommodation platform which has living quarters, recreational, catering and medical facilities for up to 80 personnel. Once the gas has been piped ashore, the point of air gas terminal further processes the gas and separates methanol, water and condensate from the gas stream. The treated gas is then piped 27 kilometres away to the Connors Quay power station. Any gas surplus to the requirements of the power station is further treated and delivered to the Burton Point Terminal of the National Transmission System. The National Transmission System, or NTS for short, is a network of gas pipelines that supply gas to about 40 power stations and large industrial users, which distribute it to commercial and domestic customers. The Point of Air plant has a capacity to treat 300 million standard cubic feet of gas per day. A short walk away from the gas terminal is the Deeside Nature Reserve. This area is home to both residential and migratory birds, as well as other wildlife. ENI, the RSPB and Flincher Council have teamed together to provide a bird hide for the public to use. On the wall is a chart that shows the species of birds that can be found throughout the year. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on social media. Links will be in the description. Thank you for watching.